Although recent advances in robotics and high-speed computers have made feasible high-throughput screening of biological reactions, these systems are still limited to the use of multi-well plates. In some cases, we are still tied to manual measurements and procedures, which limits accuracy and reliability. So while high-throughput analytical systems allow us to generate thousands of experimental data points quickly, researchers at the University of Cambridge's chemistry department are developing the next generation of ultra-high-throughput automated screening systems, which promise to increase the rate of analysis 100-fold and, at the same time, improve accuracy and reliability. And I think its time is now. I think we have the capabilities on the allied technology, we have the detection techniques, we have the fluorescence techniques, we have the scientific questions we can ask now which will exploit the technology. Microdroplet technology gives us the capability of carrying out vast numbers of parallel experiments all contained within small water droplets, which allow us to retain total control of the reaction environment. Each device is designed to incorporate all the steps necessary for an individual process. Droplets each containing single molecules, cells or organisms, can be generated at a rate of tens of thousands per second, each with a diameter that is a fraction of a millimeter. That means you have to make droplets, you have to be able to manipulate droplets, which means you have to be able to fuse them with other droplets, you have to split them, sort them, store them for a long time. And then, of course, you have to be able to analyze what is happening in these droplets, which can be measured by fluorescence, microscopy, other analytical tools, but also by mass spectrometry, for example, to give you a complete picture of what is happening in your droplet. Through merging these droplets with others containing, for example, a specific chemical reagent, we effectively create miniature reaction chambers that can be exposed to a unique set of experimental conditions and automated screening techniques. To allow us to optimize reactions, devices can be designed to pass droplets through heated zones or into storage compartments. The stored droplets can also be removed for longer term storage or introduction to a different device. Here we see the design for a device to automate DNA amplification through PCR. Cycling a droplet containing the sample, primer and polymerase through temperature controlled zones. The droplet is heated at the centre of the device and cools as it moves towards the edge before starting the process again. The process of screening and selecting the droplets can be carried out in several ways. In this example, a laser is used to determine a minute fluorescent response not visible to the human eye. Downstream, an electrode filters out droplets that have shown a positive chemical reaction and sends them to storage for later study. It also discards droplets that have shown no reaction or can send them back through the whole process again. We can develop new enzyme catalysts, cell cultures, for, for example, for algae, for biofuels. There's all kinds of areas in medical diagnostics, in cancer cell analysis. We can now envisage taking single cells and profiling what they make, what they secrete, what their genetic profile is, at a level that's just not been possible historically. The scale and scope of the experiments that the microdroplets platform can perform will enable more ambitious R&D to be undertaken. The microreactor technology promises to significantly reduce development costs and speed time to market in a wide variety of fields, such as drug discovery and algal biofuel development. This platform is an alternative to existing multi-well plate techniques, offering greater control, automation and improved efficiency. Despite the economic and scientific benefits, few companies are currently able to harness this powerful platform technology because they lack the necessary facilities and multidisciplinary expertise. To overcome this hurdle and make microdroplet reactor technology more widely available, the Microdroplets Research Group at the University of Cambridge are establishing a facility that will provide a flexible, experimental microdroplet platform and an experienced team to work in collaboration with industrial partners. We can ask questions now at a level we couldn't ask before. We can probe single cells, and that's a hugely important academic area, and it's a hugely important commercial area. And so I think the big issue in the future is not more or faster, it's what are the important questions we can address with this.